Greetings everyone, and great here for another H Pirates 3 replay. Spawn bottom right side as the blue French, we have Captain Mazen. Spawn top left side as the red Dutch, we have a foreign name. When it comes to names of the map, we do have the Berbers, which does have access to the Berber Cam Riders, Nomads, and my favorite native, the Salty Camel. And over here, we do have the Sudanese, who give you access to the Sudanese Dervish, the Skari Mercenary, and the Sinar Horseman Mercenary. No Dex Lux just yet. No Dex Lux just yet. Blue's Explorer is Marie Antoinette. She shall lose her head by before the end of the game. And the Dutch Explorer is a foreign name. Local doggo shall be killed off and still and you'll steal his Acadia. And he does kill off this honey badger and steal his giant uh fancy leathered sandals. You monster, he's gonna wear those on his night out. The scout is scouting around. He may have actually garrisoned his town center for a brief moment to shoot the scout, because it is quite wounded already. He does do bonus damage versus mercenaries, a scout, but not versus guardians. Shipment is now available for the French. And it goes for the more villagers. We got the Alatake. I don't know how to pronounce that. Carriers, you cannot theory. Plus, I got crossbowmen, some huzzars. You have the wilderness warfare and the edicts of nanites. Skirmishers and. Cavalry combat, so we're probably going to see a, a skirmish dragoon, I'm guessing, with some harassiers in reserve. And for the foreign player, we got a foreign name. Immediately going for the Dutch East India Company, increasing the bank's hit points by 75% and reducing their costs. I remember when this thing hit, gave 100% hit points. It was sort of stupidly durable, those banks. The banks are still become superly. Stupidly durable, but at least they still reduce the cost, which is pretty nice. Also got a full bank deck with the Bank of Rotterdam, Bank of Amsterdam. Of course, it's a bank of banks. It does have the religious freedoms from more banks. Dutch uh, States Army. Mercenaries arrive, train, and move faster, but Dutch infantry and cavalry units are more expensive. Enables Highlanders the Barracks, which are Musketeer variant, Royal Horsemen in a Stable, which I believe are a Huzzar variant, and both in Taverns. So we've got a Mercenary deck here, a Mercenary option. Bosnax, Advanced Frontier Defenses, so this may be in for a Turtle, or a Bank Boom into Mercenaries, in which if that is the case, he, the French player may want to eye for some spies and assassins. Clive. The bank being deployed at a heretical angle. Its cost gets down uh, with the East India Trading Company is Bank cost gets reduced down to ultimately 300, 300. Shipment wood is on the way, and he's going and villagers. He is skipping out on all everything and is going to consume his wood. The shipment of wood looks like what aged up on the shipment of wood. So, so I, was that 400 or 500 wood that was there? Now a shipment of 500 wood, so along with this, this will give him up to 1300 wood or 1200 wood. There's enough for four more banks. He also has a shipment of food. He's just straight up going bank boom, zero villagers or merchants into mercenary production. This is a weird build in potentially easily counterable it's 
stable now going on up with the lack of villagers in the field if maybe a lack of villagers to raid either way Commando? with also the uh dutch east india company envoys can now build banks visible envoys quite wounded it's also skipping out on the market so no uh hunting doggos or steel traps his bonus research both now going for a shipment of frontier defenses may want to pull out here and here though maybe here one of them here next for the villages to for some protection wouldn't be half bad we got a manual deployment of four hazards and a shipment of wood uh, is that a market market being deployed on the field He'd be cloning out the colonial gunslinger and stealing his big, big branch. The British will steal everything, wouldn't they? And there's an outpost there. Tank number four being built. Outpost here as well. Azar's pushing me forward. Outpost will do 50% damage against extra damage against uh cavalry. These villagers being intercepted. And we'll get some great damage there. Find opportunity. That's the problem where you don't have your outpost next to the food. If he needs to be safe, he may need to pull out uh have the villagers clip them from berry bushes instead. Shipping a bank that'll be bank number five. You would need to go for the religious freedom and for these the banks in order to get more out more banks. So it's probably a good idea to start progressing up the next age. He has built another house there. He does have 20 villagers now in the field. The very fine coat has been researched. Hello? Hello. And those this villagers getting hacked apart. Yep, five out of five. Scout down, not big surprise. Maybe you shouldn't yell out need a dispenser here all the, the entire time. Wait, wrong game. Volley there on the Hazars. We'll be able to one-shot these militia. Alright, go for the explorer now. Build your suit inside the town center. Another shipment's available. You assumed he can age up now. What he should age up with, I'm not sure. That looks like the fast age up. Yeah, that seems pretty fast. I think he exile prince for the Dutch looks like, looks like it's gonna be the fast age up. The French is almost aged up. The exile prince as well. Now got dragoons being shipped on in, which that may not be super useful, honestly. We can now have the he's gonna be eyeing for mercenaries next, going for the saloon, which also does a bit of coin and economy. Does have shim available, going for Dutch States Army relatively soon. We'll give him Royal Horsemen. I can't remember what Royal Horsemen are on top of my head. I'm assuming the Huzzar variant. And we do have now it's going for a black rider, which is light cavalry. Going for the advanced frontier defenses as well. Two black riders being employed on out. They do cost. I'm not sure how much, so 270. Does get another villager pick there. Cast most of the villagers on coin there. Try and really produce out the mercenaries. 
Outpost wagons deployed on out. Oh, we also got the Falconets, so Black Riders could be useful against that. Uh, things are blocking him from one of these outposts. Black Riders receive quite a bit of damage there. They do offer 40% melee resist, no range resist. They offer 40 damage, which is very good. They are mercenary. And the banks can withstand quite a bit of damage. Both explorers do go down. This one's finally being built. Another house back here. Dutch needs, well, more housing space and more of everything on the field. Black Riders get a volley onto the Dragoon. Dragon is pushed by four, a little bit foolishly, into the outpost fire. Do 45 plus 50% damage. Now bring a round of skirmishers. That'll be a decent unit to help engage those dragoons. Going for a round of envoys, but to rapidly build the banks once again. One bank has been destroyed. He also needs more housing. He has enough wood for another house. We got a good number of black riders in the field. No spies to counter. Uh, envoys charging the way forward. They have five melee damage, which is not great. They offer some health to work with. And they're getting some decent damage to that uh, falconet. They're not really accounting for that. Black riders do have a bit of bonus damage versus uh, cavalry. Not cavalry, artillery. It's getting pulled apart there, but blue should be fine enough. Maybe you should try some outlaw units. Not sure. I think again, he doesn't really have a whole lot of housing space. Bank tank some damage. Black Riders now engaging. Got some Huzzars from the shoot at. Skirmishers advancing forward in staggered formation. It takes out one of the dragoons there. But they're getting ripped apart by those falconets. Another bank has gone down. The Dutch right now is at. 3 out of 5 banks has not recovered a bank. Going for more black riders. Against with all the dragons in the field, so going for the uh, royal horseman is probably not a great idea. It's going for the religious freedom. Come on. Yeah. Now, got a town sort of being pulled and sent a map by blue. Auftrag. It's good to volley there. Azar goes or Skirmisher went down there. We got some Carassiers, which is probably a bad idea with all the Black Riders nearby. They will take out those Skirmishers, but they were there in too small numbers and weren't those Carassiers. Another round of black riders being pulled on the field. He may want to get out a church and pull out a monk and heal up the mercenaries. The mercenaries, they have a, these guys who have a decent amount of health. The monk could help him heal them on up, or a priest. I forget what the units are called. This is a different Age of Empires game. I have quite a bit of wood at the moment, just probably iron for more housing. He gets a bit more food. He just needs 2,000 food to age on up. And he is going for around a priest for healing. Very nice. I 
I don't know what the church upgrades cost. If they may, if they cost wood, let's see. It gives them unique uh, shrouded variant, right? Red lancers. He's also going for the research we won't talk about, as well as the town watch research. We can talk about that one. Another bank being employed in field. This will be bank five out of five. Brassier gets gunned down. It's really hard for me to estimate who wins in the fight with all these mercenaries in the field. After all, each mercenary is three population, a dragoon's two population. So I guess effectively increase this army size by 50%. So roughly 20, let's just go call it 20. Versus an army of 18, so perhaps the armies are relatively even? I have no idea. We've got a big round of skirmishers being flown field. With that, he may want to eye for the Royal Horsemen. Got four falconets on the field, it's going to be a good amount of siege. He still has all of his uh, frontier outposts to blow it on out. So now siege down his bones outpost. Very nice. We got the coffee trade research. It does go for a round of cauldrons. Very, very good. You'll lose some of the outposts, which are they're expendable compared to other structures. Scrumptures push way forward. His falconets are pretty stacked on up, so the falconets could get barraged. Yeah, two get sniped there. Pushing for the cavalry. Black Riders charge away forward. Gets a good volley on the advancing cavalry. Culverns trying to push away forward. Dragons take a volley there, and both the Falconets just went down. Black Rider is now engaging. He's fighting the front radius of all the towns uh, of all the frontier defenses. No militia. Uh, I thought. No, his militia has been consumed. A uh, number of idle villagers here. Or no, those envoys and priests. The explorer can push forward and use the crack shot. Envoys trying to shank their opponent. They don't even have a knife, so they will fail at shrinking their opponent. Now I do have some of the boss next to me in the field. More falconets on the boat queue. We still not research the uh, Dutch state army just yet. Bosnaks are a lancer variant with a charge attack, powerful charge attack. Be very useful. In fact, right now they're in great position to gauge the skirmishers if he's aware of it. Now the Dutch player is pulling out some falconets. The Dutch State Army does not increase the cost of siege weapons. Boss next find an opportunity case on the couriers. Black Riders see the folly there. They're taking some damage. He has priests. The priests. You may want to take time to heal these guys up. These there's a good number of wounded units here. Got some falconets here. Very nice. Now it's going for cavalry combat. Boss next takes some damage there. Black Riders are really fire and folly off. Falconets firing some damage. Decent, decent hits there, actually. His culverns, of course, are down. Lost in previous engagement. 
Probably gonna take some shots on against the dragoons. And there's the red lancers. Poorly timed there, so now they're getting ripped apart with a lot of free damage there. Probably gonna pick right forward. They need to IFR counter barrage for some of the opposing opponents' falconets, but actually hitting the skirmishers are probably better actually for them. Falcon is needing to micro hit those skirmishers. That's the only thing that's supposed to threat those black riders. Now is Falcon is getting counter barrage. Reds, black riders falls on back there. We've got another round of black riders. Black is the new orange. That was a horrible joke. Black riders are being being picked off. They're wounded. Another outpost does go down. We're having three remaining. We do now have more banks to pull on the field. Thanks to his coffee shipments, they will get more coin on in. Right now, his seven now seven. And he can always get nine in total. Priest now being deployed on out. I thought he had a round of priests still alive. Yeah. Nope, the priests are currently dead. Now it's going for the uh, mission fervor. Don't know what that is up my head. It's probably fast healing rate for the priests. That's right now it's 40 villagers versus 49 French villagers. More skirmishers being pulled on the field. Very nice. He, when he sees more and more of those uh, skirmishers, he really should eye for those who are a horseman. We also have some of the middle guards, heavy cavalry, which he sees a like fighting against mercenary horsemen. That's probably not a great idea. Oh, wait. Which has zero heroes? Oh. Uh. My network down. No. Is Twitch. Did Twitch go weird? I uh, know Twitch is loading. Most Twitch is going. Rumble may have paused. I may have lost network connection for a brief amount of time. I'm still recording. So the maybe I may be experiencing some network issues. Got a number of middle guard, which will apply a good amount of anti-structure damage at least. Not gonna be effective in this conflict. We do have some root gears now pulling out as well. Alice quicker goes on down. He's currently at pop cap. Got some culverns on the build queue. Middle guard don't have any siege armor. Red hit there on the skirmishers. Routiers and black riders before. Got some red lancers now trying to engage the various units. The equivalent getting gunned down by the dragoons. One of red falcon school go goes down. Reds, Colrons counter barraging. Both of reds falcon did go down. Grenades running in onto the culverns. They did take out one. They may get one more shot off before going down. Yes, it does. Thanks to another one of the Falconets. Falconets are remaining. As of course firing away along with the outpost, but they do less damage to siege units. Plus, they already have very good range of this, so they'll take minimal damage. How much damage are the guys taking? About. 11 damage. More black riders being shipped on in. Almost only has one saloon. I think only the Italian. Let's see. US, Mexico, and the Italians can get extra saloons. And not to mention, Italians can also get Lombards, which also does act as saloons in that aspect as well. He's getting some healing on these forces. Good round of Falconets. Got some cavalry research there. I'm not sure what exactly it does. It may have increased these guys' damage because right now they're up to 50 damage. That could have been from the cavalry combat as well. Another market being built. He has plenty of coin income. He does have an estate back here as well. He's starting to collect up some more of the local fauna, but there's not a whole lot of meat here left. 
Yeah, right now he just simply does not... Ah, uh, there's some fauna here he needs to start eyeing. And it may have been better actually try to get out a salty camel rather than trying to run a plantation. It does collect that at a pretty... Uh, at a better rate, as well as can score up 20 villagers. After all, going for the... Let's just say, assume you pay wood for this, 150 plus 200. That is 350, as, which is effectively a good replacement for to a stage, which is... 1,200. Yeah, the Salty Camel would have been a better option, I believe. And going for an estate. Plus, I could also give him access to the uh, Berber Camera Rider, which is another light cavalry. But now I've got rifle grenades. Or grenade launcher is not firing away. Also got some halberdiers as well, who have trouble for the range units, but also good. he's now with falconets and culverins, so he's ready to go on eye for a good amount of artillery. We also got French heavy cannon, he's of course aged up to age 4. Bring more dragoons. Volley there. Black Riders push my forward. We do also now have the Gunners Quadrant being researched, which improves the siege artillery's range. Not range, sight range. Ascari now being pulled on the field by the Dutch, which are another mercenary unit. This time a musketeer variant. Which was also for bonus damage against cavalry against range. Oh, that would have been much better to go on well, earlier on. After all, that would do bonus damage versus the uh, dragoons at range. Not to mention that 6 in range is pretty good. He really should have eyed these guys earlier. Plus, he can always go for another production queue with the Sudanese as well. All cavalry and shock infantry get additional armor. All cavalry. So yeah, all shock, all cavalry gets additional armor. That could have been not bad. Villagers do take some hits there from the grenades. The villagers get exploded. Cavalry charge away forward and go for the various cannon. We of course got better dragoon. No elite dragoon. Get out of age. For the cavalry marshal being pulled in the field. The various cannons now getting gunned down. The French has lost all of his cannon. Heavy cannons are getting our falcons getting ripped apart by the grenades. The Ascari getting good flank there, but not going to take some grenade hits. The grenade launchers will do some good effect against them since they're also pretty stacked on up. Black Riders engaged in melee. Ascar is falling on back. And we've got these forces falling on back there. So we've got the estate, collecting up quite a bit of wood. Age 4 is almost complete. Which will give him a big round of root here. He has quite a bit of wood stored on up. I wonder if Religious Freedom's next uh, card costs wood. Or upgrade, I should say. And there is a standing army. The faster build rate is necessary for the saloon.
Maybe he should eye for a revolt. He's going for around the Highlanders. Oh yeah. You can also pull out more Black Riders and stuff from barracks. Remember as well, uh, he got Royal Horsemen and Highlanders from barracks and stables, so you don't have to go from taverns. Or at least for those ones. Another bank being pulled on a few. That would be bank number 7 out of 7. Highlanders, of course, a pretty good Musketeer variant. 6-3 damage. I think that Scar is maybe a little bit better. But I suppose most of this damage effectively gives him 60 damage as well. Ascari does cost 230. Highlanders do cost 200. So they are slightly more expensive. But of course, they have six, 16 range rather than 12 range. That's very important. Dutch not playing some heavy cannon. Very good. A little more anti infantry on the field. One of the stuff's starting to get forced on down. There's a heavy cannon. And they don't get a shot off. He has a lot of wood in store. He needs to spend that wood, not save it up. More Highlanders being built. She has two factories, one set of wood, one set of coin. Uh... Okay, they're both set of wood now, so, and he has, has increased wood income as well. So I'm relying on those factories for wood production. And these priests are healing up these mercenary units. Very, very important. Hey, the cannon gets an excellent hit there. Second formation gives him 15 siege resist, but this thing just rips apart infantry. And one heavy cannon gets gunned on down. There's both heavy cannons pretty quickly. The heavy cannons were just out of position. Not sure we're signing for all that wood. Guard right now doing 69 damage against these structures. Who apparently also has 10% siege for this? Nope, that's just a lingering clip effect. More halberdiers been put out by the French. Multiple estates being put out by the Dutch. He's going for more Highlanders. Like I said as well, they can pull them out from barracks if needed. So on transition to a mass plantation economy, he's just going to be streamlining everything to coin. Of around uh, red lancers. Uh, requires blue guard improvement. A lot of coin for that, so that must be a church research. I'm not super familiar with. The walls are going on up. And the French are bringing some Berber nomads, which are light cavalry, or camerly. Two of speculation, as well as the bookkeeping. Currently, there's five plantations in the field, and may as well. Dutch Hello. does have ma lesser max villagers of 50. The five plantations is all he needs. Additionally, although it would still be a good idea to get some other resources generating. In fact, the Berber Nomads could be useful for that. Oh, 
caught one of these uh, upgrades improves villager max villagers. Uh, nope, none of them do. More mercenaries deployment field do now have the uh, artificial fertilizer and as well as some guard research. Guard something there. Guard uh, skirmishers or dragoons. You have the Voltiagus, or he has the guard skirmishers. The royal guard skirmisher. Village was getting hit there. Marie Antoinette has been claimed. They put her head back on strike. And she lost her head again. Routier, Red Lancers, and Black Riders straight forward. Getting a little bit too close here. Still got a good number of old guard here. Dragoon seal here in pretty good numbers. Reds, and we also got the blue guard to them out from the church. Now his infantry is going to hit there. And he's going to have trouble reproducing the army. He doesn't have bold resource reserve. The French has plenty, not a whole lot of spare resources, but has a pretty good queue already going, so he's spending what resources he has. Blue only has, or red has a small infantry force, and his opponent still has a number of good number of skirmishers on the field, as well as uh, maybe some old guard as well. Nope, all skirmishers. Of course, he's all heavy cab there, not heavy cab, heavy infantry, so skirmishers do just fine and well. And now, do have the Berber Warrior Societies, elite Berbers on the way. Another round of Red Lancers. The dragons are just ripping them apart. He's, he needs just more skirmishers in the field, which is going for standing army, so the skirmishers are a bit more expensive. Yeah, I... I'm not sure what else he can pull out of the tavern, but I don't think he's going to win out this game. It's one spawn for a light, uh, light, cavalry light infantry, and he has nothing to really counter that. Especially in large numbers. Got around the Highlanders. Maybe a revolt? I have a revolt to something? I'm not sure what he can do. Counter infantry rifling, so now his skirmishers are even more effective. Buying with their sea damage to do twice amount of damage versus heavy infantry. Highlanders can even rip the part there. Yeah, and this game's over. And red casting GG. Is Ant great saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.